I am back once again to show you more funny clips about the players of Bedrock. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy today's video. And I also must give out a disclaimer. While yes, I will be joking, and at times I may come off as arrogant and mean, none of this should be taken seriously. I do not take this game seriously, and neither should you. I do not intend to harass or send anyone to harass any players shown in this video. At the end of the day, this is just a game, and we're all trying to have fun. This video was made for fun and for entertainment purposes. Now, with all of that out the way, let's get into it. Now in this first clip, I will be honest, I should have lost this fight straight up. I was not paying attention and thought I was part of the orange team, which is why I didn't attack first. It wasn't until the fact that they attacked me, I realized, oh wait, I'm blue. And I should have lost this fight with all accounts. There were more of them, and I had no armor. And while yes, I had a diamond sword, I could have killed them fast, they could have also killed me fast too. But I still won that, because one player there decided to let me go and not give chase. He could have easily killed me, I would have lost that. But they just didn't give chase for whatever reason. And I don't know why. Now in this clip, I also should have been killed, because I was caught off guard, on the edge, and I was surprised. But, somehow, some way, the person just fumbled the bag so hard, that I genuinely feel bad for him. By all accounts, he should have won this. He should have knocked me off and I would have died and lost everything. But he didn't manage to knock me off, and man, I went through a roller coasters of emotions during that two second time frame. Now in these next three clips, these are going to be in situations that I have found myself numerous times, where I have looked down the enemy team and stared at each other. We may share some items between each other, we may crouch every now and then, we may even share some banter, but this is all too common for Bedrock servers. Players are just kind of peaceful in a sense. It's kind of wholesome in a way. It's just a real shame that by the end of the game I have to murder all of them. This is also another situation that is very common in Bedrock servers, where when there's a last person alive and you're trying to look for them, they will just hide and m most often not climb on top of buildings and just camp up there. You often have to go up there and chase them down. Now sometimes they know what they're doing, they may, you know, play that to their advantage and win the game. I know I have done this before and won, but other times they just do things like this. They will just continue to try to run away and hide, not really fighting back. And to make things worse, I wasn't even the one to give the final blow. He kind of just fell off, without even looking, may I add. Now, I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here and rant, as this is something that has been bugging me for quite a long time now. Now, anyone who uses a Dream or Technoblade skins are probably by far the worst players imaginable. You cannot change my mind. I have never once in my entirety of playing this game have I ran into a player using a Dream or Technoblade skin and was actually good at the game. Now, I don't hate on Dream or Technoblade. I respect them both for being great players at the game. Technoblade especially. And I don't want Dream Stance attacking me in the comments. It just annoys me to no end that you're ruining their legacies by wearing their skins and being shit at the game. Here in this clip, you can see me fighting against a Dream Skin user, and out of all things, I somehow lost to them. And I will admit, here, I was extremely pissed because I lost, but I wasn't mad at the fact that I lost. No, I was mad at the fact that I lost to a Dream Skin user, no less. And the thing was, this player wasn't even good. 
like, by all means. You can see in the next few clips that they were just making dumb plays, you know, not really being good at the game. And I even called them out for that in chat. No, I will admit this was kind of a deep thing for me to do. I should have just ignored it and moved on. But it was just something that annoyed me to no end. And this is a common thing for both Bedrock and Java servers. People using skins of pro good players and just being absolutely ass at the game. Alright, now since that is all out of my system, we're gonna go back to me showing you some more funny wholesome clips. Here is probably by far the most dedicated player I've seen in quite a while. Well, yes, they did something kind of stupid. I will give them credit for the bravery and selflessness that they were ready to jump off the edge just to knock me down. Even though they didn't even get nowhere close to hitting me. Here, in this clip, you can see me sneaking on two players. But the thing is, I should not have gone nowhere near their bridge, much less even knock them off it, as when I was bridging over towards them, they should have seen me, as they had crystal clear line of sight of me, but somehow they either didn't see me or just chose to do nothing about me, which still baffles me to this day. Now here, you're going to see the rise and fall of a player. He is the last line of defense. He is ready to stand his ground. He is ready to have a warrior's death. It's him against three geared people. Now he's smart. He knows he can't fight them head on. So he chooses to knock them off one by one, as that's his best chance of winning. Player one rushes him, but chooses to jump off as he is low and will likely die. Player two takes his place, but gets knocked off by a warrior. Now, our warrior is pumped up and decides to go after player one, jumping down to the path they made, but completely misses. Yeah, this guy just completely misses. I kind of feel bad for him too, as he could have possibly won the game, as he actually knew what he was doing. But, oh well. Now to end off today's video, I'm going to show you the footage of me trying to find the last enemy, but don't worry, as I'll also be going through the whole end of video spiel. So. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. If you didn't, consider leaving a dislike. Maybe subscribe too while you're in the process of liking slash disliking. Either way, I hope you have a great rest of your day.